Hey buddy, it's Invicta. It's time to eat and run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Friday, Mosh Pit. I hope your weekends are going off to a great start here as we get ready for a nice relaxing weekend of video games, Diablo, Isaac, or whatever else you're playing out there. Let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing what everyone's weekend's plans are. Do you have any barbecues going on? You got any family reunions? You got, are you going fishing? How many of y'all going fishing this weekend? That's what I want to know. Here's your meme of the day here brought to you by, I'm going to say Air Horn, but they spelled it with two O's, so that's why it's not just Air Horn. Uh, title threat was Invictive Follower Mentality. Baby boy, baby evil. Now, I, of course, I have a bone to pick with this one because obviously there are way, way, way more reasons why you shouldn't pick up Bumbo and Bum Friend over Dark Bum, basically because obviously in one scenario you're not going to need any of the Red Hearts and you can actually turn them into things that you do need versus, you know, sometimes you just don't want to get bombed. And yeah, you always need money no matter what it is, way more than you need Red Hearts, most of the time, most of the time. But I see what you're going for and I appreciate it either way, Air Horn. Uh, C Day is going to be uh, Quebec Sierra 4, Charlie Foxtrot Tango Victor 0. We've got just god awful tears, um, really not great damage we got a little chubby okay and we also have divine interventions are starting passive item here which is going to allow us to shoot out a shield which is completely uh, impenetrable for a few seconds uh, to enemy well to enemy anything um it also deals it actually does deal damage to things especially if it knocks it back and uh, goes through things so it can be very useful um but but given how bad our stats are like we're going to we're going to need help early on in this one this bff wouldn't be too bad for a little chubby, although we'd probably be more apt to using our bomb to either bomb the donation machine uh, or uh, and get the soul heart or like, you know, go for something else like maybe this steel chest here. And we do get it. Ooh, OK, OK, we got a lot of money there. We also got a bomb. All right. I'm down with that. As you see right here, I'm using divine intervention as our primary source of damage. I never, ever thought that I would say that. Uh, we also have Mom's Bottle of Pills, which honestly, this might be a run that's bad enough for us to start taking pills. Yep. And that's why we don't experiment by taking pills. So all you out there are like, oh, the victim never takes any pills and never has any good reasons to... Her, 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 her. Well, guess what, kids? We just made our tears rate uh, 50% worse almost. Um, by taking one singular pill. So, yeah, I don't want to hear it from any of you. There's a reason why I have these things in put in place as far as rules are concerned. And that is one of the reasons, because pills are awful. And unless you have some way of not... Unless you have some way of, uh, of taking advantage of the fact that you don't have to worry about... Uh, you don't have to worry about losing a stat here and there. Uh, it's never, ever worth it. Ever. Ever. So just don't do it. Just don't do it. We are already at the desperation of us having to play a first floor sacrifice room. And I don't say that lightly, uh, given the fact that we just gave away three soul hearts, but given, but also given the fact that we have a womb room here, we have to take advantage of anything that we can right now, because now that our tears rate is 1.38, uh, that is going to leave us with a very dangerous situation on our hands. Now, luckily, there is a soul heart that does exist in the shop that we can buy and still protect our HP, assuming that we don't actually get the seven soul hearts from the payout from the sack room, which we probably won't. 30 cents would also be very useful as well. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to need to do everything and anything that we can. We do get a bomb back, so I can go into our secret room, which I don't actually... I think it's to the left of there, but it's... I honestly thought that this was going to be the secret room over here because this is one of those times where the secret room is not going to be adjacent on all, on all sides to a well to an adjacent room um, but it's only gonna be adjacent to two rooms it looks like so we get a soul heart here not exactly what we wanted we went, definitely wanted the angel deal item but uh yeah this is about as uh this is about as bad as it gets in terms of stats uh, even before we took that tears down pill so um, I will say that, uh, I didn't mean to pick up that soul heart, but whatever. Um, I will say that definitely getting the, the HP up was huge for us. That was, that was also like the only reason why we would even be able to play the sacrifice room. Uh, but again, at the cost of a tears down, it is absolutely not worth it at all. So already starting off to a spicy one here and let's see if we can get the seven soul hearts or the 30 cents. Either one helps. We get the 30 cents and that's fine. Like I said, we can go over and pick up that 
uh, Soul Heart inside the store without having to bomb the donation machine. We're still leaving with one bomb. Again, I do think that the Seeker Room is there, and it is. And it's Rune Bag, which... I mean, Rune Bag's worth a bomb if we can buy one in the store if there is one. We might as well buy BFF just because we're going to need all the help we can get. So Lil Chub is slightly not as little anymore. We'll go over here and place the bomb down and get bomb bag. Or uh, rune bag, I should say. And maybe get a good rune here. Didn't, it didn't give us a rune. I, I thought that it would give us a rune. Uh, maybe I'm thinking a blank rune that gives us a rune upon acquisition. Either way, um, yeah, this is about a... I'd say this is about a 9 out of 10 in terms of bad starts here. So, oh boy. Hold on to your butts, everybody. We got ourselves, we got ourselves an Isaac run. I had a, a week filled with, I would say, pretty decent runs outside of maybe two of them. Um, okay, I thought Divine Invention was up. Apparently not. This is, by the way, I'm not tap firing here. This is how fast this is. This is our fire rate right now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take pills, kids. Don't ever do it. Bloody Lust, which is actually going to help us out greatly considering how much damage we're going to take. And we get the library, so if we can get a key, uh, that would be amazing, because at least we have a chance of getting something we can actually use for a space for item. Thank you. And we get the Satanic Bible and the Book of Virtues as well. So we don't want to use the Satanic Bible yet um, for obvious reasons, but if you don't know what those reasons are, it's because we don't want to make our boss item turn into a Devil Deal item. Uh, that cost HP uh, because obviously we don't have a lot of HP right now and even though we would benefit from getting the soul heart from uh, the satanic Bible we simply cannot do that right now uh, if we get if we get two bombs we can go into the we can go into the shop I know where the secret room is but uh, it'd be even easier if we just get another key I mean that'd be fine too look, look, look at little chub getting out there I, I, I see you little chub little chubby I see you there you go does not keep her sack, the soul of the keeper, and it gave us the absolute bare minimum. All right. That's the type of that's the type of Friday we got our we got in store for us. So if we can turn this one around, we're we're talking about a, an early June Christmas miracle here. We do get a key, we can go back into the Tienda. We get Birthright. Birthright is going to give us I mean Nod Leaf wouldn't be bad except we don't have an orbital, so I will be taking the, uh, I'll be taking meat, so we're almost <laughs> we're almost at base Isaac damage now. I don't I don't want to get anyone excited. Let's see if we can trick blight it over him here. Oh, he wasn't in, he wasn't in the right spot, but okay. And apparently he just goes right through that shield. Gotcha. All right, game. Seems legit. Jam jar boy would say. Okay. Get a golden bomb and the matchstick, and this is this is a tears up. All right, I'm gonna stick with endless nameless, even though Matt. Well, matchstick would help us out with our bomb. the The only reason why I hesitate with bombs with 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 taking the uh, bombs or the uh, not bombs, but the matchstick is because I sometimes it can overwrite your ability to get keys um, as a as an end of end of room reward. It's a very difficult sentence to say. Take full advantage here of this uh, of this golden bomb, and one thing that I will say has not been a problem on this run it has been money. We had the money equals power episode a couple of days ago, and that was a banger of a run. I thought I saw a fool's gold somewhere. Am I imagining that? I think it was the room that had the uh, had the golden chest in it. So we got plenty of HP, which means that we can go into this uh, curse room here, no problem at all. Don't have the movement speed to get away from anything, unfortunately. Super Seeker might be here. It's not. So yeah, it's not a, it's not a particularly um, curse the maze. You're tripping me out here. 
It's not a particularly amazing floor, but getting the Book of Virtues at least allows us to get an opportunity to get angel deal items. And then if we want devil deal items, we can simply use the satanic Bible, which we're going to have to at this point uh, to keep up with the demand of our, well, the loss of HP that we're going to undoubtedly incur by uh, having such abysmal stats here in terms of our gears up. I mean, th like this looks like we have a machine gun right now and we're sitting at 2.14. So, and yeah, I'm not going to waste the key for that. And Curse of the XL. We get Goathead, which is going to give us a guaranteed Devil Deal or Angel Deal. Most likely Angel Deal, considering that we have the Book of Virtues. And uh, the problem with that is now is that because it's Curse of the XL, we don't have... Well, we've already guaranteed ourselves the, the loss of an Angel Deal or Devil Deal. Um, thanks to us having Goathead, of course. I'm not going to go in the dice room right now. SMB Superfan is a fantastic upgrade for us. So this is going to give us an all stats up, including tiers, which is obviously the stat that we are needing the most by far. And our damage now, for everything that's been bad about this run, our damage has not been bad. Um, it started out bad, but it's now currently not. And since we did find the boss room early enough here, I'm not going to use the Satanic Bible in hopes of actually getting more tiers ups uh, because chances are we are not going to get a tiers up from a devil deal item had we used the satanic bible and forced the substitution of our boss item for a devil deal item like the only tiers ups that i can think of that are inside of the devil deal are the pact and the pact <laughs> that's that's about it just the pact i might be forgetting one more but pretty sure it's just the pact Whereas the angel deals, they could have like the halo. This is definitely going to give us moving speed. No, oh, it gave us tears. All right. All right. Well, there you go. Consolation prize. Coming up clutch here. We are now sitting at just over base Isaac tears. <coughs> After three tears ups. So if we can recover from the, from the early, that early pill of the tears down. It's still hilarious that that was the only pill that we took. And get Sarah from here, thanks to the Bible. And we get a non devil deal, devil deal. All right. All right. Thank you, Stanley. Don't be, don't be so, don't be, don't be so, so generous now. But hey, at least we got Seraphim. Seraphim's going to give us the ability to fly. We get Purity, which gave us the movement speed upgrade. Can't wait to see how many coins we get this time. Okay, we got a better amount. I know what you're saying. It's like, Victor, you could have yared all that money. Yeah, I could have, but like because we have Guppy's Tail now, like we're going to need the Yara keys or chests. <coughs> and we can definitely get a lot more with a Yara rune for keys and, and that sort of thing rather than you know, like doubling a, a small amount of money. Uh, we could go in the dice room. Now, here's the thing. The dice room, if it is a five room, that could be huge. That could be pivotal, I would even say. Uh, secret room might be here. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All right, this is good. This is good. We can save ourselves bonds. We want a five room because the five room can completely negate the XL room and give us a fresh start here on floor three. And it's a three room. I am going to Yara this just to give us extra keys. And this is a global D20. I don't care so much about the bombs. A golden bomb, which... Mm, okay. So a modest, a modest little, little gain there with the Yara rune, but, you know... Having keys when you have Guppy's tail is, is so, so crucial. So um, it's just unfortunate that we got an XL floor because obviously here, let's see what the soul hearts turned into. They turned into, I guess it didn't affect them. 
we could look for a sacrifice room as well. With the amount of HP that we've got. I don't really want to want to lollygag too much because this is one of those runs where we're going to need boss rush. So we're, I mean, we're slowly turning it around, right? Like we, it was a disastrous start. Killing, you know, the arguably the most important stat that you, that you need in the game. Um, and we're slowly turning the ship around here, slowly but surely. Got the soul of Bethany, which by the way, is affected by BFF, as you can tell. I wonder if you get, if you get Nod Leaf, this would be one for the comments. If you get Nod Leaf, does, does the Nod Leaf invincibility affect the Wisps from Soul of Bethany? Something I've never been able to test before. Does it make, does it make the Wisps like invincible? Because obviously invincibility effects do affect the Wisps positively, just not this way. So yeah, we gotta, we gotta get a move on. Here, now that that whole entire side of the map was not really worth it. We did gain a key, so there's that. Uh, look for the secret room real quick. Okay. Okay, we're slowly turning it around, team. It's it's going to be a long road, but we're, we're getting there. All right, Curse of Darkness. I'm going to attempt to get some stuff here. We get Mom's Ring, which is a damage up. Another Soul of the Keeper for some odd reason. Get a Black Rune. The Black Rune can at least give us a... Uh, it can at least give us a chance to get another stat up that we need, possibly anyway, avoiding something on a item pedestal, or we could use it. We could use it on the boss rush pedestal, which might actually be the go-to play here for us, because unlike void, it won't it won't take everything at random. It still keeps the old void uh, mechanic of voiding everything instead of just one random one, as we all saw when voiding goes wrong. Which I mean, if, I guess if you squint, you could kind of make a poop joke there, but we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna go that low road. No, no, no. It's only highbrow humor up here. Oh, Maggie. I'm gonna. I kind of want Mom's box to be honest. Um, the Satanic Bible is not going to be a factor, I don't think. I mean, we're like, obviously we, we got blanked on a on the devil deal last time, but I don't know if HP is really going to be suffering. It's, it's not going to be one of those, it's not going to be one of those issues that we're, that we're going to experience on this, on this run. Although I could be wrong about that. Okay. That's, that is, that is where we, this is everything where we don't want to go. Mom's Pearl. Mom's Pearl will give us a good, a better uh, chance to get XP. To get HP as well, not XP. Playing too much Diablo. Box of spiders. See that we did use uh did use box of spiders and we've got some extra wisps here for us. Shot speed. Not exactly the the greatest thing for us, but I'll take shot speed. Also helps us with our planetarium chances. The damage upgrade from Guppy's tail, but we are now out of keys, and that's the problem. I think I is okay, but I'd rather have the increased chance for a soul heart to drop. Because we are holding on to uh, Mom's box, that's going to double the effectiveness of trinkets. So it's very, very good. Very, very good. 
be war. War is not going to give us anything that we want, unfortunately. We got Big Chub getting in there doing some quality damage. We'll take Lusty Blood. Lusty Blood is going to be a very, very big help to our DPS. Again, you, you definitely can make the argument for the Satanic Bible, um, especially going into the late game where, you know, you're not going to necessarily be feeling the sting of the loss of, uh, of boss items, especially after Womb 2, obviously. Uh, and having that extra insurance of, of extra HP is very is very crucial. Um, so, you know, there is, there is some give and there's some get, but it really comes down to where are you in the course of a run? You know, are we, are we okay? Are, are we sorted on stats? Do we need stats? Is this something that could be dangerous if we don't get stats? You know, that that's the, the all that stuff is you have to take into consideration when you're talking about making sure that you're that you're doing the right thing for what you need in the run. Okay. And uh, the decision to not take the Satanic Bible was made out of the principle of we don't have the stats currently to be super safe now again you could argue like well you know what's what is i didn't mean to open that um what is considered safe quote safe yeah. safety in this regards would be giving us the chance to get a better uh a better trinket that could allow us to get double the effect of like a tears up like a like a cancer or something like that um sucks right now we're just looking for the we're looking for the the uh, fool card is not anywhere to be found. So we're hedging our bets based on based on us needing a stat up versus like giving up HP and having late game survivability. And you can again, you can argue it either way. I I, I obviously choose to have. I I would like to try to. I'm an idiot. We deserve everything that we get in here. This is, this is me. This is from rambling too much and not paying attention. Also, we're probably if the fool card's not in here, then we just got it. We're just gonna have to send it. We did get the blue aura from uh, from Purity. We we absolutely have to make boss rush, and of course, the fool card is going to be in the last spot that we go to, as you would expect. That is not the fool card. Yep. Literally the last room that we could have possibly gone into. And actually, now I think about it, we can't even, we can't even take it because if our idea is to, if our, if the idea here is to void uh boss rush, then we can't hold on. We can't hold on to the fool card. So, so what I'm trying to say is all that was just a big waste. As was our last store, unfortunately. We should still be able to to get in there, especially since we know what the angel deal is. Now our DPS right now is great, and that's due to purity. But it's the second that we get hit, we're going to lose the tears up, and then we go back down to the doldrums of bad a bad damage bill. Yeah, so that gave us almost a two damage up, and then we got a lot of shot speed. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is not a boss rush killing build. So this is gonna take a while, but we gained almost two damage there. That's before Lusty Blood, obviously. We get sold the lost. Uh, no thanks. No thanks, Rune Bag. I am disinclined to acquiesce your request here. It wasn't even a request. But what's nice about this is this will also give us a lot of trinkets from Mom's Box. And again, that could lead to avenues where we actually profit from doing something stu doing th something stupid like going after boss rush on a run this this mediocre. I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say this run's bad anymore. It's just it we're we're working through it, you know. We're we're in the mix of it. We're on the grind as the kids say. The Lusty Blood definitely going to help us out because obviously we're still killing things and we're gaining more damage.
So Samson doing its thing. Absolutely destroyed Frail there with one swing of the bone. Hey, to win is a pretty good trinket, but unfortunately we don't have any more item rooms, so not really going to matter anymore. Napoleon. Or Boros Worm, no thank you. Holy Crown would be interesting, except we're not going to the Cathedral on lap one here. Sorry about the radio silence. I'm trying to trying to not lose. <laughs> of course, it's the second I say it. And Divine Intervention doesn't stop the, the crags of Cage. What I was trying to say was I'm trying not to lose our bonus from Purity, and uh, yeah. I don't want I don't want baby bender. You see that one coming, did you, Monstro? An Alge's rune, which I'm just gonna use right now. And we've got BFF, so the effectiveness of our orbitals and followers are gonna be very, very, very good. We get little Gertie. Little Gertie. And hey, look at that. We got a luck and, and damage upgrade. So we'll definitely take that. Okay. So making it possible, we got the range upgrade from Purity, which is the least exciting one to get, unfortunately. And in order for us to change that, obviously we're going to have to take damage, which I <clears throat> am almost guaranteeing will happen. Soul Lazarus. It's only a matter of time. I, I have faith in Mom's box. It's only a matter of time before we get the truly good trinkets. Like Curved Horn... Uh, you know, Sigil Baphomet. We could get, uh, you know, obviously the Cantor Trinket's the one that we want because we need those, we need that double tiers rate. There's another sacrifice room here, which makes me feel guilty that we're not playing him, but we just, we just can't. We, I mean, right now we need all the, all the HP that we can hold on to. Also dawning on me how terrible our movement speed is. I mean, it's not terrible, terrible, but it's kind of bad. Again, we got to be careful of our got to be careful of our key usage. We got the movement speed upgrade from Purity, which is fine. You know what item? I mean, this would be a, a fantastic item. A fantastic run for uh, rock bottom purity and the amount of damage that we're taking. At least we wouldn't lose the uh, bo the bonuses anymore. There's the sigil Baphomet. excellent trinket. I'm pretty sure mom's box didn't do or mom's uh, pearl didn't do anything for us the entire time there. Okay, okay. 
Money equals power would be nice. Old Chubb is going to be very confusing in this fight. Ran in there because we have the we have the uh, invincibility bonus from Sigil Baphomet, which is still it's still active by the way because of Mom's box and active contrition is a tears up. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there, team. We're putting together a run here. You know, starting out in, in, in one of the worst possible ways to to making it to making this almost almost look like a true blue good run. I mean, it, it's it's pretty remarkable here and you know, these are the type of runs where you sort of craft them out of game knowledge and just and sometimes luck. I mean, just getting the items that you need or at least knowing how to take advantage of the items that you're given is all I mean, that's what Isaac's all about. And honestly, credit the Book of Virtues for giving us these Wisps and BFF for helping us out with the early game damage, too. Come on, bro. You're not stuck in a loop over here. You're just being a jerk. Look at that Sigil Baphomet with the extended duration thanks to Mom's boxes allows us to actually go in there. Almost like a, almost like a use of Book of Shadows. Whenever we kill an enemy, we gain that invincibility shield. And we can go in there, run in with the with the uh, orbital, and the the more enemies that we kill that way, the more our the longer our shield gets. So it's gonna be you're gonna have a tough time taking me off of the sigil baphomet mom's box combo, because this is gonna keep all of our wisps alive as well. The judgment bomb a bomb beggar, which is I think the rarest one that you can get. I do want to go inside the boss trap room though. Gonna give us Roid Rage, which is great. A long like spawned right on top of us. I thought, he was gonna, I thought he was gonna fire again. You know, and all these flies that we're getting, you know, I, I mean, we made fun of Runebag a little bit there, but shout out to Runebag for giving us some actual useful runes that have actually made a kind of a difference <coughs> you know it's it, this run has been a little pieces here and there have been have been put together to, to bring it together and make a solid cohesive run now to where we're poised to really break out here Soul of Isaac is going to give us a rotating item pedestal so it's kind of like binge eater, except it just, instead of you getting a binge eater item, you just simply gain a an extra item here. Of course, we're now out of keys, so I run in. There's the cancer trinket. Now here comes the real bravery test. Do we take the cancer trinket, or do we go for the sigil of Baphomet? Ooh, boy. I, mean, I think you got to go for the cancer trinket. I think you got to go for the cancer trinket here. That's just too much damage, especially now with the with the blue aura. I mean, Celtic Cross is fine. I was trying to hold out until we got to the dark chest, but we'll take that. It is hard leaving behind the Sigil Baphomet, though. It's a very, very difficult decision to make. But if you look at our tears rate right now, again, we are we are being it is being influenced by purity, obviously. But we're looking we're looking real solid here for DPS. I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna be there. I was just guessing. Okay, one of those weird. Adjacent to only one room, uh, secret rooms again, which is uh, like way weirder when you find them in in the late game. In card. So you know, 
the debate of of the of mom's box versus the satanic bible in this spot it comes you know it comes down to was it the right decision i think it was now that we've got the hindsight of, of seeing what the run was like i think it was a pretty good idea to to get rid of that did we gain any meaningful boss items mm, i don't remember actually but remember had we taken the satanic bible and gotten devil do items from our boss uh we would have been giving up we would be we'd be giving up hp so nothing you can do in this room here you don't go up to the t if you go anywhere near the top or bottom of the room you're gonna get hit by one of the eye lasers it's pretty pretty fun range upgrade here I think Rune gave us Awaz. Here? Hey guys. Alright, we'll take a soul heart. We've been taking too much damage here. Hoping that purity gives us our damage or our uh, tears rate back. Or Stanley. Get a wild card. An Emperor card, actually. Answers. So the Emperor card definitely helps us out on the next floor, for sure. Guppy's Eye. We're now only one item away from Guppy's, from Guppy, despite not having a Devil Deal. Uh, I mean, we did take one Devil Deal item. We did take, uh, what was it? Uh... Wasn't goat head. What was our what was our W item? It wasn't Guppy's tail. Did we get a W? Or was it No, because we got goat head out of a curse room, right? Yeah, I don't think we've gotten a devil deal devil deal. I remember a couple of blank ones. So block there with uh, divine intervention. People have been asking me, by the way, how come I how come I always immediately go to the top left of this room in the Stanley fight? It's because for me, it's easier to dodge. It's easier to dodge whenever you've got uh, whenever you're you're going clockwise. Uh, it was we can actually force a crawl space, I believe, still. Yeah, and we get daddy long legs. Okay. All right, we got we got Daddy with us. We still have our Emperor card, which is great. I am going to take another Rotten Heart because honestly, the flies have been helping us out in a surprising fashion for DPS. Can we get Guppy? We cannot. Um, although there is the Ouija board. Spectral Tears is a huge tears up for us. It's gonna be it's gonna be spicy. I could have taken sulfur, but I chose not to. We, remember, we don't have the Polaroid, so Polaroid invincibility is not a thing right now. We just gotta do as much damage as possible to Lamb before losing our uh, purity purity aura. Yeah, we're peppering him down. Oh man, look at that! Beautiful. Yeah, let's do. Who who would have thought we would have done a victory lap? Give a thumbs up for the victory lap on this run. Second seed, Echo Sierra 9 November, uh, Echo Zero Victor Sierra. Yeah, who would have thought that we would have ever done a victory lap on this run? The way that this run started, it was looking ultra struggle bus. Yeah, sure. Ultra struggle bus ish. And uh, now we're looking, we're poised to be making like a huge push here. Reverse Devil card, which is a Bible effect. Hopefully, oh, welcome back, welcome back, Nose Goblin. 
Hopefully we can get our guppy item and sail on to the next adventure. Got a rock up there, which I will take. Having the spectral tears is so nice with this amount of this amount of tears rate, you can really just sit back and do whatever you want from wherever you want to. That was a long that was a long fuse mega troll bomb, man. Actually a little surprise it's not there. Actually, I, I know where it is. It's to the left of over here. Okay, never mind. Don't listen to me. Uh, another soul of the keeper. Yeah, see that—that's that's what the soul of the keeper is supposed to give you. Not this, not this three cent mumbo jumbo. We don't, we don't want that one. There's the darkness. Imprisoned in me. What did I see? Uh. Thanks to Guppy's eye, by the way. If you're wondering how we can see in the the contents of the of the chests due to Guppy's eye. Oh man, we're just we're just machine gunning everything down. We do get another tears up here, divorce papers. Now remember, our tears cap is broken by a whole lot thanks to the cancer trinket. So we are going to deal with the with the purity aura that's activated currently. We are going to deal an immense amount more damage than we normally would be because of the fact that our tears rate was so low and it's being influenced by the doubled effect of mom's of mom's box plus the cancer trinket the our actual true tears tears yeah sure why not our actual true like tears cap is going to be somewhere in the range of like 10 and a half to 11 which is just absurd and i am all for it to be honest polish bone Of course, we just took chaos, so everything goes out the window in terms of loot. We'll take proptosis just because of the sheer amount of damage that we can cause up close. Makes sense to me. Yeah, you know, we've definitely been having a little pause talking about proptosis lately, and uh, you know, being a little, a little disinclined to take it because of the fact that you do have the damage drop off, and you do have these sort of worrying, like if you're too far away, is your damage actually? incredibly worse worse off and the answer is yes it is so you got to get up close and personal but if you do that whew, with this amount of tears rate especially with us having twisted pair as well yeah uh, we are we're gonna be laughing mate Yeah, and that's right there. What we just did in this room is exactly what I was kind of talking about. Get in there, do massive amounts of damage before the enemies can even figure out which room they're in. That's what you want. That is the good stuff. Now, is there any trinket that I would get rid of at this point over the cancer trinket? Uh, with Mom's Box, the answer is probably not. Again, the Sigil Baphomet would probably come up again. But even if we got Curved Horn, we don't need the damage from Curved Horn. I mean, just look at that. Like, that's like... I mean, Pride was was up for less than a second. So, there's there's not much that the game's going to be able to do to stop this. Why change... You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which is something that the Isaac Balancing team could learn a lot from. Like, take a hit to hit the soundboard. And so, we're going to hold off on doing that. We did get the movement speed upgrade. Walk out, get ourselves the access back into the Tienda. 120 volt, it's kind of whatever. Definitely want my tears rate back, but as you can see here, we don't need the tears rate with us having, with us having mom's box plus, uh, Plus Ansa, or not Ansa's, uh, the Cancer Trinket. Nun's Cap and Bot Fly.
So what we can do, because there's an arcade here, we can actually cycle the uh, purity aura until we get our tears right back. Do that. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? You just you just can't script this stuff. Oh, there's curved horn. Would give us a four damage up. There we go. We got our we got our tears right back. Little Claudy. I mean, it, now's the perfect time for Trinket Smelter. If we ever wanted the Smelter, this would be this would be it. Excuse me. You've you've had your one chance game. And I and I will admit you you definitely took your shot and you you got it. You had one chance to screw us and you absolutely did. So good on you for that. But that's it. That's the only chance you're getting to screw us. The shop key. I think the cancer trinket is just permanent, permanently attached to our hip here. Another little chubby. We got two little chubbies and two, two rune bags. Sure, why not? That that's, seems reasonable, right? Two rune bags, two chubbies. A hey, little chub, you know, she's she's working, she's cooking. Let her cook. She did a really fantastic job for us in the in the early goings in this run. This is Proptosis, man. This is this is where Proptosis really shines. You can safely get up close and personal with, with enemies and not have to worry about the damage fall off because you can just destroy them before they even have a chance to act. I mean, that is just a thing of beauty. Pentagram, which is going to give us a damage up. Obviously. One of the better damage ups you can get. Also contributes to the Leviathan transformation, and it also improves your Devil Deal situation. Ola Kane, we could look for the Ultra Seeker room, which might be, I think it's to the left of there. Did spawn a mini boss, so let's go take a look at that. Yeah, it could actually be there. It could actually be over here. It's not, but it could have been. Oh man, Spoonbender. This run is. This run's starting to turn into something, something impressive. Gotta say, from rags to riches. Another Yara rune here. Double trouble. It is. We didn't pay attention. We get another tears up. Oh mama! A nine and a half, not ten and a half, is where we're gonna end on our tears rate. And uh, we don't need a Yara, the Eternal Heart. I think it'd be better just if we get to the chest. Yara that. The nine and a half is our final tiers rate that we can get, unless we get like Cricket's body or something. Definitely still wanna be opening up all these chests that have keys in them because obviously Gubby's tail is a uh, kind of a bummer sometimes, but not this time around. And, and, and you know, ooh, we get Mom's purse. It's actually fantastic. Uh, you know, again, I I, I just I just want to sort of pat ourselves on the back here. We made a lot of excellent decisions early on that panned out for the better, I would say. I still stand by the the idea of holding onto mom's box rather than satanic bible even with hindsight being put into account um it was just the better it was the better option it made more sense to me at the time and uh, now we're seeing the fruits of that labor there's a sack room here so we could play it if we wanted to 
Oh, I got another soul of cane. Yep. Second time's a charm. There it is. The nine volt. Kind of forgot that we had chaos. Which actually makes me a little bit more excited to see what boss rush is now. Look at that. Just walk right up the line there. Yeah, okay. Get the telescope lens, which gonna double our well, it's gonna be more than doubled actually with the with mom's box. I'd rather have Kane's eye to be honest. Soul of Apollyon. And as luck would have it, there's the final spot that we could get it in. Although we probably won't actually even need the full card, because chances are Chances are that we're going to probably take something out of the boss rush and we have the damage to really just kind of destroy it. So and we also have this Perthor room, obviously. Yeah. Red mom didn't stand a chance and we do get a higher tiers right now going to 10. Thanks to mom's perfume. And Luna. Not, not great. Does add an extra secret room and gives us the tears up. Is it really worth doing another boss rush for? Probably not. Let's just be honest. I want, I want Kane's eye. Kane's eye can give us full mapping here. Curse of Blind. Did not get a proc from Kane's Eye, unfortunately. They're looking for our third guppy item, by the way. Don't think that that hasn't been lost on me, game. Although the chance of us getting a guppy item now is considerably less due to chaos, and that's okay. We could take the left hand probably should take the left hand over Kane's eye. That would ensure that we get Guppy. Get your soul, which is not lost soul, buddy, or found soul. Gives us a free devil deal item. Get Eden soul. Okay. Now, notice how we've given up the Cancer Trinket and our tears rate is still insane. Or not Cancer Trinket, sorry. Um... No, oh, we cannot use it in there. Actually, it doesn't really matter where we use it. And now that I think about it, even taking that blind item out of that red chest was not a good idea. Not a smart idea because of chaos. All right. There's the entire map, everybody. How does he do it? Et cetera, et cetera. Eden Soul is going to give us two random items, usually based on the item pool that you open the box in. However, uh, or not box, but soul. But this time around, we're not, we don't know what it's going to be because of chaos. And there's not even a reason to go in here unless if it's Krampus. And we got Lump of Coal, which is still very good. We use that. We gain a movement speed and luck upgrade, I think. Okay, so now we can use Eden Soul basically wherever we want. It's not going to matter which item pool that we get. Unless Eden Soul somehow is not affected by chaos, which I don't think that's the case, but it could be question mark. I guess we'll find out. We'll go find the secret room. Wherever it may be. I'm gonna use divine intervention there just to give us a little bit of extra shielding. I think it's there. Actually, it can't be there because of the presence of the skinny room. 
Okay. Here we go. And ourselves another black rune at least. Yeah, since we didn't find the since we didn't find the seeker room, I'm just gonna we'll just rip it inside of the angel deal. Or devil deal. Yep. And we got another tears up actually from uh, the black rune, so that's, that ain't that ain't bad. That ain't bad. This run turned out again. It didn't turn out to be like just god awful terrible, like we originally thought it was going to be, just because of you know the way that things started. But we've done an excellent job at sort of pasting together a, a usable run here, only and gotten to the point now where it's like, yeah, we've been we've been dominant for a while in this run. Uh, and uh, you know, I like those kind of runs. Those are the runs that you you feel good about, you know. It's a Friday here. We're all jazzed for the weekend. Hopefully you all are doing something exciting. Post them in the comments. Again, comments help out just as much as likes do. If you do both, if you leave a comment and you like the video, it helps out the channel even doubly more than that. That's, a, that's what we call that the YouTube bonus. The Perth row. Anytime you have a reroll with uh, chaos, it's always a good time. There we go. Isaac had no chance of doing anything there. We'll take our common Sinvicta W here. Tech X, I think, would actually kill the vibe. And I mean, red key, maybe. We don't really have anything to use for our space bar item anymore with, so we could find the we could find the ultra seeker room. It's not gonna be here, but one of the red wisps actually opened up this door over here, which was nice. Open up another one. Very nice. We're going on a little red key adventure here. We found the ultra secret room. They got twisted pair. Okay. Well, this run, this run started getting. Now we're just getting sick, nasty, crazy. I don't even know where we're going, but we're still going. Black Lotus, the intruder. Found an arcade. Okay. Put my tears up back. We got bloody gust, so this is like helping us anyway. There we go. Bloody gust is what was making our tears rate go up, by the way. That wasn't purity, like, instantly kicking in. Like, could I have gone back and gotten all these red hearts to do that without sacrificing soul hearts? Yeah. Do we need to? No. No, no, no. And somehow, some way, we managed to somehow dodge Guppy. Don't ask me how we did it, but we did it. Also, there's the entire extended map, everybody. And welcome back, Cursed Eye, I guess. This red key wisp still opening us doors, and I mean, I'm going to take him. Got a shop. A random shop in here. That Beelzebub, no nine lives from... Super pride. We're just we're just chunking them down now. 
Okay, the double the double twisted pair with this is hilarious. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. There's the entire map, everybody. You don't see a map that looks like that that often, but somehow we did it. I'm not trying to, I'm not even trying to do a full clear. It's just how it goes. Yep. So we're going to get the dub eventually once uh, Red Key stops procking all over the place. Hey, hey look, if the Red Wisps are going to take us there, I'll, I'll gladly... I gladly take the trip, you know what I mean? Gonna finish it off against Pink Haunt. And that'd be that. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click that like button. Leave a comment down below. Hey, we did a great job on this run. We really did. I think that with the way that everything started to how it ended, it doesn't even look like the same run. So like I said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you're doing this weekend. I'd love to read that kind of stuff. Even if I don't respond to it all, I still love reading everyone's comments in the mosh pit. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Marcus, Kristen Johnson, and Michael McMaster. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find by going to patreon.com slash Invicta. 